Good morning, good afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I want to talk to you about organizational skills. I realize we tell people, hey, be organized, just use a planner. But we don't actually show people how to do it in a healthy way. So this video is about time management. So this is great for ADHD or just a skill in general. If you're not using a planner, this will be a way to do it and have balance. So first things first, you want to set aside time that you can just plan everything out, plan out your week. So let's say Sunday, four o'clock. Great. Sunday, four o'clock comes along. Now what? Well, now you want to schedule things. But the thing you want to start with before you schedule like your to-do list, you start with your routine. Morning routine, nightly routine, meals. You plug that in your planner first above everything else. Then once you got that all plugged away for the week, what next? Well, then you schedule things that are fun. Or third, you schedule free time. So this allows you to do fun things on the weekend. This allows you to have time in the evening for a couple hours or however long you determine that you can have flexibility. Having these things come first is important. After that, that is when the to-do list comes to play. So how to write a to-do list is first you write down your goals, you break these goals into steps and you estimate how much these steps will take time-wise. You take those blocks of time and you plug it in the remainder of your planner, something that was overwhelming, that this project you have that seems like it has 20 hours, you spread that over a week and you look at all this other time you have and all these other things you have planned that are healthy and fun, you're not going to overwhelm yourself. It becomes doable. It makes it so that you don't burn out. I have seen people do a planner and go from 6 a.m. to midnight. Guess what? They burn out. Like that's, that's going to happen. If you do it that way, you have to do it where you have time that you can relax, where you have time that you can have fun. You got to prioritize yourself first. You can't skip out on sleep. You can't skip out on meals. Those have to be just like firm boundaries when organizing your time. They have to be. Otherwise, you will burn out quick. So make sure that those are like steady. Those don't get interfered with. Um, then, yeah, fun things, then free time or you swap the order. It doesn't really matter. But the last thing is the to-do list. And you'll get through that to-do list. And you'll get through it without feeling overwhelmed. So this is a balanced way, a balanced approach to having a planner, to going through your to-do list, to organizing your time. And what's great is you say five o'clock comes around and you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You look at your planner. Okay, great. Whatever's there to say it is a to-do list thing. You don't need to feel stressed out about it. You just do it. You've planned out how long it's going to take anyway. Then you just mindlessly do the thing. You don't have to have the stress of like, Oh, I've got, I've got this big thing coming along. No, you just mindlessly do it. Two hours go by. Great. I mean, You have to, I, I suppose you have to be mindful about some things, but what I'm saying is you don't have to stress about it once it's estimated, once it's planned out, you're going to get to it. You don't have to have this uh, stress about initiating the task because it's going to be much more manageable because you've broken it up into steps, into time, and you have this big thing that's going to get done. You just have to just do the little things as you go. It makes big things become easier. It's that, that whole analogy, I suppose, of how do you eat a horse or an elephant or whatever it is. It's just one bite at a time. You just schedule those little bites and those little chunks of this big project. Then you got it. So this is how to organize your time effectively. 
how to organize your time so that you don't become overwhelmed and how to have balance and make sure that you are not compromising your health with your sleep and with your routines and with your mental health, with your free time and fun things. Your physical and mental health has to come first. Try it. See what you think. Put it to the test. Tell me if I'm wrong. Thank you. Go ahead, click like and subscribe. Tell your friends and family. And uh, I'll see you next video. Thank you.